We've been talking about this deadly virus for, what, 18 months now? So how about we change the topic to a deadly fungal infection? Everybody with me? It's resistant to treatment and hard to identify. Doctors around the world say they're increasingly concerned about a fungal infection that has been spreading since it was discovered in 2007. It's already here in Canada. Case numbers are rising. Joining me with more is Dr. Tom Chiller from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Good to have you on with us this morning. Good to be here. Okay, so this fungus is called Candida auris. What makes this fungus so concerning? Well, you know, we've always been dealing with fungal infections in our healthcare system and, and, and settings. What makes this one a little bit more concerning is its ability to act a lot like a bacteria. So it is not just something that we're seeing in patients uh, that are at high risk. It's something that we're seeing spread relatively easy in our healthcare settings and in our nursing homes. It's able to live and grow on surfaces for prolonged periods of time and also colonize our skin. And what we're finding is this particular species is very hard to kill. So that makes it a real challenge when we're dealing it, with it in hospitals and healthcare settings. And what does it do to people? Well, generally, fungal infections get into our bloodstream. And when they get into our bloodstream, they can then invade vital organs and unfortunately have quite high mortalities in people that are sick. Now, these organisms are not something I would worry about in a healthy person. These are pathogens that generally affect people in hospitals or in healthcare settings that are undergoing surgeries, procedures, or might be immunocompromised due to other uh, diseases that they have that they're being treated for. So in Canada, 24 cases of this fungus were recorded between 2012 to September 2019. Uh, this stood out to me. Some hospitals that have encountered the fungus have had to rip out equipment and walls to get rid of it. So if it's resistant to treatment, and even to cleaning agents, how do you treat this and get rid of it? Yeah, you know, fungi have been around for a long time. I mean, there are uh, millions of species and thankfully only a couple hundred infect humans. So they are just well adapted to their environments. And when they emerge, um, you know, they are really good at staying put and surviving. And so we've always been challenged by getting rid of these organisms when, when they eventually uh, infect humans. They're sort of opportunists. They're taking advantage of a niche that they're finding. And so this particular fungus is no different. It is found a way to survive. And so, yes, you really have to bump up your level of disinfection. You really got to be aggressive to get rid of this fungus or it will survive. And I think that's what, as you mentioned, several healthcare facilities have found that really to get rid of it, they've had to close things down and do uh, you know an intense deep clean uh, to get rid of it out of the environment. And we're gonna have similar issues when it colonizes our skin in these patients that are in healthcare settings. And so we have to really step up our levels of disinfection to get rid of it. Yeah, and I wanna ask you really quickly, uh, doctor, so that's sort of the reactive um, response. What do we do proactively about all of this? Yeah, I think, you know, the fact that we're now talking about it is fantastic. So thank you for talking about it. We need to be looking for it as it's spreading. And so there are screening tests we can do. We know the types of patients that are at risk. So the earlier we identify it, the earlier we get on it, the earlier we can control it and get rid of it. All right, Dr. Tom Cheller, we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.